most holy and immaculate virgin, and our mother Mary, you are our perpetual help, our refuge, and our hope. We come, come to, to you today. today. We, we thank, thank God, God for all the graces you have obtained for us. us. Mother of perpetual help, we love you. To show our love, we promise to serve you always and to do all in our power to lead others to you. Mother of perpetual help, powerful with God, obtain for us these graces. The strength, the strength to triumph over temptation, a perfect love for Jesus Christ, and a holy death, so that we will live with you and your Son for all eternity. Mother of perpetual help, pray for, pray for us. us. Prayer of the Assembly Lord Jesus Christ, at a word from Mary, your mother, you changed water into wine at Cana of Galilee. Listen now to the people of God gathered here to honor our mother of perpetual help, grant our petitions, and accept our sincere thanks. O mother, o mother of perpetual, perpetual help, we, we call upon, upon your most powerful name. You are the safeguard of the living and the salvation of the dying. Your name will always be on our lips, especially in time of temptation and at the hour of death. Your name is confidence and power. Blessed Lady, help us whenever we call on you. We will not be satisfied with merely pronouncing your name. Our daily lives will proclaim that you are truly our mother of perpetual help. Prayer in temporal wants. O Mother of, Mother of Perpetual, Perpetual Help, help with, with the greatest confidence we kneel before you. We implore your help in the, in the problems of our daily life, trials and sorrows often, often depresses, us, reverses of fortune and painful privations, bring misery into our lives. Everywhere we meet the cross, have pity on us, compassionate Mother, take care of our needs, free us from our sufferings, or if it be the will of God that we should suffer still longer, grant that we may endure all with love and patience these graces we ask, trusting not in our merits, but in your love and power, O Mother of Perpetual Help. My sisters and brothers, now we have the reading of petitions and thanksgiving. Mother Mary, by your grace, after trying for a long time, my daughter has conceived. Please bless her during the pregnancy and help her to deliver a normal and healthy child, your loving daughter. And another person writes, Mama Mary, with a humble heart, I thank you for the favors, blessings received by my family from you. My husband was battling a legal case for 10 years and finally last week the case has been resolved and he is free from the case now. We were praying to you and we placed the same during the online novena and every week we used to participate and pray during the novena. You have heard our prayers and blessed us with a huge relief in resolving the case. Also, my daughters who are abroad are doing fine during this difficult time and you have blessed them with a job. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Mama. We love you, Mama, for your, your intercession. You always protect us at the time of crisis. We will continue to pray to you and be faithful. Love you, Mama Mary, your loving daughter. Litany of the As Assembly. Let us pray. Grant wisdom and prudence to our Holy Father, the Pope, our bishops, our priests and all the leaders of our nation and community. Hear us, Lord, Lord through Mary, Mary, our Mother. Grant that all men and women may live as brothers and sisters 
in social peace and religious unity hear us lord, lord to mary our mother grant that the holy spirit guide the sons and daughters of our navena family in choosing the way of life hear us lord through mary our mother grant that the people of our navena family retain their health and the sick regain their health according to your holy will hear us lord through mary our mother grant eternal rest to all the deceased novenites and to the souls of all the faithful departed hear us lord through mary our mother grant guidance and aid in all the spe special intentions of this novena and all the needs of those present hear us lord through mary our mother grant that all people may see the light of your truth and experience the warmth of your love hear us lord through mary our mother let us silently present our personal petitions to our mother of perpetual health thanksgiving accept o lord our thanks for the new life of grace you gave us we thank you lord through mary our mother accept our thanks for all the graces received from the sacramental life of the church we thank you lord through mary our mother accept our thanks for the spiritual and material blessings given to our novena family we thank you lord through mary our mother let us thank our mother of perpetual help for the favors we have received The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 5, verse 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus There was a beautiful looking young girl aged 16 who lived in a small village in a tiny hut Her mother cleaned houses for the living and her mother knew that her daughter was very beautiful One evening when mother returned from her work she was terrified to see that her young teenage girl has left and she has written a letter saying mother i'm going to a city to find a better life i don't want to live in this small village in this small tiny hut i want to find a better life elsewhere she wrote a letter and she left mother was terrified to see that a young girl has left her immediately the mother took some money with her she went to a photo shop she took a picture of herself 
and went to every place in the city where the youngsters will gather our most of the youngsters will spend time she went and she kept her pictures everywhere and she returned home and she waited for her daughter's return after few months this young girl was already into drugs and other habits as one evening as she was coming out a place where they sold drugs she happened to see herself her reflection in the mirror she couldn't recognize herself she couldn't recognize herself for what she has done to herself because of drugs and for a surprise at the corner of the mirror she finds her mother's picture oh she is so happy she was so happy to find her mother's picture at the corner of the mirror she grabs her mother's picture in her hands and she says oh i can do anything to go home but i can't go home i can't go home for what i've done to myself how can i go and show my face to my mother and she turned the picture around and she found her mother's handwriting written at the back of the picture this is what the mother has written my daughter i do not care what you have done i do not care what you have become please come home please come home my sisters and brothers today we do not know how much we are being loved because we do not know how much we are being forgiven today we are do not know how much we are being forgiven because we do not know how sinfully sinful we are that our sins were so great it took the son of man to come and die on the cross for our sins today the idea of forgiveness and mercy is misunderstood in the modern world it is critical in the christian faith a person who is unable to forgive and show mercy has not yet known the fullness of love my dear sisters and brothers only one who truly love is able to forgive and show mercy in the gospel of john chapter 19 verses 25 onwards we see at the foot of the cross mary becomes for all people the mother of forgiveness and mercy as she follows the example of her son who forgave and showed mercy to the people who crucified him who nailed him on the cross every time my sisters and brothers every time when i look at the icon of a mother of perpetual help one thing always comes in to my mind is just the story which i shared the mother wanted her daughter to return home i do not care what you have done i do not care what you have become please come home that's the message i get every time when i look at the icon of a mother of perpetual help whenever i look at her arms pointing towards jesus showing towards the divine mercy i get this thought and she's telling each one of us to come back to come back to jesus he is merciful we can rightfully call mary a mother of mercy because everything about mary was fashioned by divine mercy and for the work 
of divine mercy. I just love these words. Everything about Mary was fashioned by divine mercy and for the work of divine mercy. She bore in her womb the very face of divine mercy, that is Jesus, who has given us his mother, who joins us on our pilgrimage through this life so that we may never be left alone, especially at times of trouble and uncertainty. We all know that we are facing this uncertainty because of this pandemic. But let me assure you, my dear sisters and brothers, that we have a mother who is always waiting for us. Whenever we go astray, she's looking at us and she's saying these words, come back to Jesus, come back home, come home, return. That is the message she gives us, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus. As Pope, as Pope John Paul II wrote in his encyclical, Rich in Mercy, he says, Mary is the one who experienced mercy in an exceptional way as no one else. As no one else. Mary, as, Mary is the one who experienced mercy in an exceptional way. She is the one. As today, my sisters and brothers, as today, we are reflecting upon Mary as our mother of mercy. In the Old Testament, we know the Ark of the Covenant was very important for the Israelites. And we know what it contains. But one thing is very important for us to know is on, upon that Ark of the Covenant, the mercy of God rested. Between the two angels, the place is called mercy seat. And in the Old Testament, we know that John sees a new Ark of the Covenant, that is Mary. And the mercy and grace of God rests upon her. That is why we call Mary a, a mother of mercy. And also, my sisters and brothers in Christ, today we are also celebrating the feast of Saint Mother Teresa of Kolkata. And we know most of her things which she has done for the poor and the most abandoned. She has picked the people, old, young, from the streets. But we know that in our arms, they died with dignity. And we call Saint Mother Teresa of Kolkata as Angel of Mercy. She's known as the Angel of Mercy. Even we are called to be the Angel of Mercy, my sisters and brothers, because we are the body of Christ and we get the grace from Him and the moment, every time when we ask the intercession of Our Lady, she intercedes on behalf of her to Jesus and we, and also in the Gospel of Matthew, as I read, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Today, let us ponder upon these things that we are also called to show mercy, to forgive one another, to, to show mercy to our fellow human beings, to be the angel of mercy, because blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Amen. Blessing of the sick. O Lord, look upon your servants, servants laboring, laboring under, under bodily, bodily weakness, weakness, cherish and revive the souls which you have created, so that purified by our sufferings, we may soon find ourselves healed by your mercy through Christ our Lord. 
May the Lord Jesus Christ be with you that he may defend you, within you that he may sustain you, before you that he may lead you, behind you that he may protect you, above you that he may bless you, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The faith of the assembly, O Mother of Perpetual, Perpetual Health, health you are both rich and generous. generous. You, you distribute, distribute all, all the gifts that God, that God grants, grants to us. us. You, you are the hope, hope of sinners. sinners. Come, Come then, dear, dear Mother, for we turn to you. you. In your, your hands is salvation, and we are in your hands. We are your children. Take care of us, dear Mother. mother. For, for if you do, do there, there is nothing to fear. From Christ you obtain, you obtain forgiveness, forgiveness of our sins. sins. With Christ you are more powerful than all, all hell combined. With, with you on our side, we look forward to meeting our judge, your son and our brother. Our only fear is that in time of temptation, we may fail to call upon you and become lost children. Obtain for us then the pardon of our sins, love for Jesus, final perseverance, perseverance and, and the grace always to call upon you, Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us now unite with the Christians of all ages in praising Mary and in committing ourselves to her powerful protection. Hail, Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now that the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your Mother Mary, whose wondrous image we venerate as a mother ready at every moment to help us, grant that we who call on her help may always enjoy the fruit of your redemption. This we ask through you, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Given the bread from heaven, containing in itself all sweetness. Divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed, blessed be his holy name. Blessed, blessed be Jesus Christ, Christ, true God and true man. Blessed, blessed be the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. 
Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament has left us memorial of thy passion, grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that we may ever experience within us the fruit of thy redemption, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. of the Lord declare unto Mary and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy am Jesus holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the Lord be done unto me according to thy word hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy am Jesus holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, forth we beseech thee, O Lord, Lord thy grace into our hearts, hearts that, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Good night and God bless you.